there's a beautiful teaching from the Ma'are Nayim. The Ma'are Nayim says that Avaida Hashem can even be found in our Masa Umatan, in our business dealings. This is, of course, very difficult to understand. That we serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the base Medrash, learning Torah, of course. That we serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu in our shuls, davening, of course. That we serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu doing chesed and giving tzedakah, pashat. But that we serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu in business. I can understand that we take the money that we make and we use that in the service of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It's a heksher mitzvah. But to say that the actual business dealing itself is Avedis Hashem, what does this mean? In order to understand this, we need to go back to the very fabric of the creation of the world itself. The Medrash in Pashas Naso says, and it was popularized by the Balatanya, God created the world because He had a desire. The desire was to have a dwelling place in this world, in the lower world, in the physical world. What does it mean to have a dwelling place? It means that HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to be comfortable here. Right now HaKadosh Baruch Hu is not comfortable in this world. Our job is to make HaKadosh Baruch Hu comfortable in this world. To be in a relationship means we need to introduce HaKadosh Baruch Hu into every aspect of our being. Like a husband and wife. Imagine if the husband and wife are not able to be authentic with each other. It means they're not able to have a real relationship. If there's dimensions of our self that we cannot share with our spouse, there's something deeply uncomfortable about the relationship. It's why we're always asking, will you love me even though I have these flaws? And HaKadosh Baruch Hu is saying to us, I will love you, but you have to introduce me to all aspects of your being. So of course we serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu with our mitzvos, but that's the easy part. Can you serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu in your mundane life? Can you serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu when you're in business? Can you say this world is mostly klipas noga? It's mostly neutral and it has the opportunity to be elevated. So if we go down into the lower aspects of our world and we say, I'm doing this L'Shem Shamayim, I'm doing this to serve you, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, then it becomes Avayi Hashem. You're no longer just engaged in a business transaction. Your mom is changing the nature of the world into a place where HaKadosh Baruch Hu is comfortable. This is so important, especially in today's day and age, because Lemaisa, something has changed. The world has shrunk. Technology shrunk the world, which means that today it's almost impossible for a Jew to stay in his or her Daladamos. Lemaisa, we are more out than we've ever been before, which comes with tremendous dangers. We'd be foolish not to pay attention to those dangers. But it also comes with incredible opportunities. In these final moments before Mashiach, it's as if HaKadosh Baruch Hu is saying, if you're going to be in a relationship with me, it needs to be everywhere. It can no longer be just in our base medrash. It can no longer be just in our shuls, just in our communities, just in our homes. It's something we need to take out into the world. The world itself is waiting to be revealed. It's waiting for its inner godliness to be revealed. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu created us as physical beings because only in the aspect where we're opposed, so to speak, to HaKadosh Baruch Hu can we truly reveal HaKadosh Baruch Hu. What an amazing gift, what an amazing opportunity that is in front of us. Unfortunately today, it's not necessarily taught this way. Some people see it as, I have my life in base Medrash, and then I have my life post-Yeshiva or post-Seminary. Chas v'shalom. It's the same life. It's not two different lives. It's the same life. The same HaKadosh Baruch Hu that we served in the base Medrash is the same HaKadosh Baruch Hu that we serve when we're out in the business world. And it must be so. Because only in serving HaKadosh Baruch Hu outside can we truly transform the world. An infinite God can be served infinitely in all places. As we are mamish getting ready to greet Mashiach Tzadkenu, let's keep this in mind. When we're going out, is there a danger? Absolutely. But there's an amazing opportunity. Let's not squander it. Let's serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu in all aspects of our being.